we have to stop judging people on their past, man. Especially if these same people are trying to change. Like, you know, especially like, let's just say they're a drug addict. Let's just say they're a bad person. Let's just say they, um, they want to see some, let's just say, you know, they're, they want to be a, a good person, a better person. I know I just used that example for my second one, but still some people, bro, are still judged on their past. People are judged on their past, especially when they change. And here's an example. So there's this person who is named Boom Gang, who goes by John Cabana now. You know, he's changed his life. You know, he's a per- got baptized, but his past is what made him him. He was pretty much. He was like, he was. I guess a, not a crimp. He was like, like he was a criminal. I guess not really a thug. Not. I wouldn't consider him that. Just, just the person who did not make the smartest choices or good choices. For social media for clout but still he changed his life and people still try to associate him with that past that he was before think about it that's how str- that's how people nowadays judge you on your past that's how strong you know that is how strong a past can have an impact in your future life I don't think it's fair for people to be able to judge you on your past. I feel like people, right? I feel like people should be able to acknowledge someone who has changed, right? I feel like people should be able to do that rather than judging. Because for you to be able to change your life around, it takes discipline. It's it's not easy, you know? It's not easy. Especially for people who were once drug addicts, right? who now are living a sober lifestyle, that's not easy. But people always judge on people's past. But I don't think it's okay to judge someone's past, especially if they are even in the process of trying to change their life. Because everybody makes mistakes. I make mistakes. I've made plenty of mistakes in my life. I've made plenty of mistakes in my life. And for me to be able to acknowledge that and say that, that's that's big. And to be able to change, that is also big too. But, you know, people will love to live in the past. I used to love to live to, I used to live in the past. My mind used to be 24-7 in the past, in the past, in the past. Memories, moments cringe moments just living in my mind man all the things that i did that were so cringy that i messed up that now like that i was doing you know back then was cringy but now that you know i think about it i should have it was hard for me to let go of the past because i don't think about the past as much as i used to but when i did that's all i was thinking about all those cringy moments man it transferred into like a negative energy thinking about the past but now that i stopped thinking about the past things have become more positive which is good but i feel like people should stop reliving trying to relive in the past especially if they made a lot of mistakes in their life because you're supposed to learn from them and not just you know hold a grudge or just like you know beat yourself up about the past you know you should you should be able to learn something from it so you never do it again you know i'm not perfect i've done many mistakes And I'm glad to say that I changed from them. But that's the thing. People will always judge you from who you used to be. If you are a person who has made a process to change or changed. Or is even in the process of changing. That's what I meant to say. But, you know, it's just, it's it's crazy. And there are a lot of, like, people in the social media world who have right who have had a bad past and who have changed but there's still people who are bringing up their past and judging them on that which i don't think is fair because if a person is fully changed or who has changed and went through that process of changing then i feel like they deserve 
respect for being able to change from who they used to be because it's not easy.